There is a violent situation that is getting worse by the day in the former Soviet Republic of Ukraine. Protests started two months ago when Ukraine's president rejected an economic deal with Europe in favor of closer ties to Russia. Holly Williams is in the capital, Kiev. Anti-government protesters on Kiev's central square have barricaded themselves in, determined to stay put after days of deadly clashes. At least five people were killed last week when riot police fired rubber bullets and stun grenades and demonstrators hurled rocks and Molotov cocktails. Now the police have retreated and today the country's unpopular prime minister resigned. But that won't be enough for many here who claim the government is corrupt and increasingly authoritarian and too close to Russia. Inside Kiev City Hall, we met Andre, an unemployed waiter. I would stay here till the president will go and you, the government as well. You want the president to quit? Yes, of course. First, president and his team Get out, please. These demonstrations began peacefully in November when President Viktor Yanukovych turned his back on a free trade treaty with Europe in favor of a $15 billion rescue package from Russia. But after enduring years of Russian rule during the Soviet era, many Ukrainians still fear political interference from Moscow. Masha Borisova, a 19-year-old protester, explained why many Ukrainians want their country to move away from Russia and towards Europe and democracy. I don't want my country to be like a little part of the whole empire like it was uh, since many uh, centuries. And I don't want uh, their country uh, to understand my country like uh, something not worth to be independent state, you see. Tomorrow, Ukraine's parliament will vote on an amnesty that would free protesters arrested during the last two months. It's another attempt to appease the demonstrators. But, Scott, they say they'll only be satisfied if the president resigns and the country holds fresh elections. Holly Williams, above Independence Square in Kiev. Thank you, Holly.